Hello, good afternoon. So uh, this series is going to run through how do you manage an, a small online business uh, using a, a platform called AppSheet. So if you don't already know, AppSheet is actually a no-code no -code platform. They are kind of a successor to Google App Maker where you can make your own application. So that's mobile phone application on Android, uh, iOS, as well as it runs on browser. So you can actually create your own app that do the thing that you want without knowing how to code and without knowing any fundamental uh, programming language such as Flutter, React, or Java, and so on. So it is very welcoming for newcomers and people that are just want something simple to work and do not want to go and buy an app, first of all, or worry about the support of some of the third-party smaller company app that does what they do, but you know we don't know how long would they last, something like an add-on and so on. So uh, there's a few criteria that I have to run through just to how just to make sure we understand the goal that we're looking at. So first of all, it's for really small business, like it's just some people or like do this for their part time, or some people that have a very small business that recently needs the transition because of the COVID nineteen situation. So one of the example maybe you are just running a a business where people usually come to your doorstep to collect your stock. So you are a not grocery store, maybe you're a supplier for uh, a certain mechanical parts. Like let's just say you sell nasi lemak. Let's make things easier. So you just sell uh, food. So you want initially you have a small store where people come to your store, uh, order one food, you give it to them, you take money and call it a day. There's no record, there's no delivery. Everything is relatively straightforward. But because of the social distancing situations where people are unable to open their store and people are unable to just drop by on the door to uh, buy the purchase or just get whatever they want. So you have to deliver it to them and you have to have a way to confirming the order rather than having someone to call you every 10 seconds to do so. So it's also applicable, let's say you just do a part-time online sales that between 5 to 10 people. So this will be easier. So second of all, it's also more suitable for a more traditional workflow there where people are a lot less specialized. So what, what's the meaning of specialized in that in many big company, you have just one person doing a single thing. Like the, the admin will always be there taking calls, taking orders and so on. The sales will always be there to quote the prices and the production will be there to only manage the production. So this is a luxury I believe that many, many small companies are unable to afford because you know you need to have one person that knows everything because if there's five people in the company, you can't afford all of them to only know a single thing because if one of them fought you, you lose 20% of your, of your productivity. It doesn't make sense. So in a small company, usually you, uh, you need to do everything and this app will allow you to have a, a, a lot more flexibility in the way that you manage this uh, workflow, sales, uh, production delivery, and so on and so forth. And it enhances the communication, of course, between all of them so that everyone is on the same page on what happened in real time. So the, sec the third thing here is about scal scalability. So if you want an app, you want it to be able to do something else in the future and not get locked down. I think that's part of the situation with a lot of um, small companies, small, small app holder where they just make one thing. And, and if you want to do anything else or what, okay, that what they're able to provide, you, you will kind of get stuck and you get stuck on the platform. It's very uh, hard to pull out something like what I use every day. It's something called ManageBack, which is amazing. Uh, ManageBack is a LMS learning management tool. It's actually a software used for tools, used for schools to manage like the content, delivery, and so on. The problem is that even though they are very feature rich overall, th there's always that one or two things that you are unable to customize yourself. So this is the thing that we really want to avoid when you are making a new app like this that is customized to your workflow because if your workflow change, you need the app to change with you so that it's easier for you to just and you know add something on the future. So that's what we call scalability and expandability as well as you know I want to sell more things late in the future. This will be able to do that. I want to uh, change the prices. I want to change the uh, product. I want to change the concept of the selling the product rather than delivery. I want a doorstep. So this should able to handle the flexibility down the road with that. So what the goals obviously is that it's have to be simple enough that people like um, my grandmother will be able to use it. So that is on the user side. 
And you also have to be simple in the back end where the, the construction would be very simple because if you have a problem of the app you make on app sheet, no one is there to help you. You have to be responsible for your code. So we want to keep that to the minimum. We want to keep the processing to the minimum so that you won't be able to, it won't have the chance to break, I would say. And of have to be secure, obviously it is not easy and it's not possible to share your client information to everyone. So something like the, the failure will be something like a, a, a mass email where a person send, so a person doesn't use BCC, that CC everyone and the, and the client CC things back to everyone again. So it's, it's kind of a, a mess. So we want to prevent that. We want to prevent one client from knowing the information of the other client. So we want a separation between the two platforms so that it's impossible where we accidentally leak something out to them. So uh, last thing here is communication between members is what I say just now where we need to have the platform to be able to very straightforwardly uh, inform everyone once you sync the app. So the app is synced every time you open it. If there's something new, you can always sync it and it, would, it should actually make every time, everyone to be on the same page. So uh, once we're done, so uh, the concept here is that, so before I start the next video, this is the concept. We're going to have a Google form as the front end to the customer because that will allow them to only be able to input things and unable to change things afterwards. So they can't make a, a order of five quantity and then suddenly change it two minutes later. So they're unable to do that. Once they submit, that is their order. If they want to change it, they have to inform you that you change it. Otherwise, they're unable to do so. So we are using also a Google Sheet backend because they're connected to the Google form and they are, they are, they're all forced under Google for small user like us, you don't need to pay for the service. So if you do want to get a Google Suite, it's like 10 US a year or something. So the cost of entry is very, very low as well. So we'll have a form view of to the customer as a sheet view to uh, the, the admin, like the people that view an app. And then we're going to port that sheet app into our app sheet data table and and we'll try to manipulate the data table a little bit, do a little bit of calculations before we go into the user experience setup. And lastly, we do a little bit of slice customizations of the different uh, view that you want to have and different stages that you want to have. And lastly, we're going to do a little bit of like the dashboarding where we try to put everything in one uh, page so that as a boss, you can go in and try to understand what is the current situation of the of the whole team very easily and some final touches such as how to change the brand logo the name and how do you share an app so for now i think i will stop the video now i will go to uh, i'll go to the second video and we'll we'll start from there so bye we'll see you in the next one bye